everybody. It's just after 11 o'clock on Sunday, December 11th, I think. Um, I think, hold on, let me check. Um, I have to catch up on drawings because we spent so much time Christmas shopping yesterday, literally from the time that we finished our coffee in the morning until dinner time. By the time we got home, I was exhausted. So I didn't do yesterday's drawings. I've got to do today's drawings and I never posted Fridays for whatever reason. So I'm going to catch up on all of that first. And then, see that? Yeah, I've got to wrap Christmas presents today and I have laundry and dishes going. So chores, yeah, I'll be back. Say good morning, but it's 15 minutes after 12. I don't know. <laughs> It's Monday, December, I think 12th, I think. Um, I have been up for a bit and I am starting the day off by posting to Patreon, which I did, and giving them their Christmas gift a bit early. And then painting some Christmas gifts. Um, I One down, one to go. Then I have to do this week's social media posts and um, there's always chores to do and stuff. I have to run one more set of errands this week before we do family Christmas celebrations on Saturday, a little bit early. Um, but that doesn't have to be today, but I will work on the list today. I also today want to try to finish, finish up the lips journal. I didn't quite get that done yesterday, but maybe I can get it done today. Maybe. I don't know. Um, and then I have another watercolor journal I need to work on that I'm a little bit behind. Cause you know, it's the holidays and I'm, it's just crazy busy. Anyway, I got the two Christmas painting pictures gifts done. I think I took them both downstairs. Um, I got Lily's squirrel toy fixed. He had to have a leg amputation cause she like chewed it off. Um, I think I said yesterday was the 13th. It was actually Monday the 12th. Today is Tuesday, December 13th. It's already 1.32 p.m. Oh, no. Um, <clears throat> but after sleeping in a little bit, which I think I needed, Bob and I are still coughing. We're not sick or contagious, but we just, if you all have had this, you know, the cough just does not want to go away. Like, oh, my God. Anyway, um, I got the rest of my journal page filming commitments for the year done filmed and in the can so I need to edit them but not doesn't have to be done today I also have taken some feathers and I have glued some twill tape to either side of the spine because I'm gonna make another DIY watercolor paintbrush I use this one for texture I made this one before and I want to make another one so or two. So I took a few feathers and some of the twill tape and it's e 6000ing to the feather hairs and oh, I'm so distracted. And, and um, it just needs to dry overnight and then we can cut it apart and make a, a paintbrush out of it. If you want, I'll film that. I'll put it here in the vlog. Good morning, anyway. it's 10.09 a.m. December 14th. And I've been trying to get out of the driveway for quite a few minutes now, but the little ones from next door keep stopping and wanting to talk. <laughs> it's very cute. Anyway.
today, November 15th, I am pretty sure. Yes, 10.50 a.m. Gonna make some bone broth. Yes, my hair is still wet. So um, say, like a lot of other people in the world right now who have this coughing cold flu thing, it's been almost three weeks, we're still coughing. Bob especially, he got it much worse than I did. And um, he got up a couple times last night to take medicine because he just, it was that bad. Um, which meant that means that we're both sick and tired this morning. Anyway, which is not helping things. <laughs> uh, obviously the thing is off my head. Hair's mostly dry. Um, lunch has been consumed. All the video has been edited and is loading through the end of the year. So I don't have to do any editing until New Year's. Um, and it's done. I remembered about halfway through working on getting this done that I have a skin tones palette. And this journal is one of the reasons I made said palette. And so anyway, I started using that. I forgot how much of a joy this is to use. Um, some of the colors are purchased, some of them are custom mixed by me, but I love it. Anyway, it's done, it's done, it's done, yay! So I'm gonna let it completely dry and then it's gonna go in the box with 2022 journals and we're gonna call it good and call it finished. Yay! All right. On to the next thing. It is Friday. Hold on. It's Friday, just before 10 a.m. December 16th, pretty sure. Um, I've already kind of got a lot done today. Some chores, wiping down things. Uh, Hazel, our robot vacuum, is cleaning the floors downstairs, and I already did the bathrooms. We're having early Christmas tomorrow, so I want the house to be clean. It's right. just about lunchtime, and I even got the January daily sketch journals done. Didn't expect to get that done today, but I'm, I'm good with it. So, I'm gonna go downstairs and make lunch. Doing pretty good today. I still think there's something else I wanted to do, but I don't know what it is. I posted the Christmas, um, Happy New Year gifts to the patrons. <sighs> got presents wrapped, got the dryer vent. I told you all this, I got all my chores done, so I don't know what it is. No idea, I'll be back. Okay, DIY, plain air, easel setup. So this is just a very cheap, less than $20 tripod from Best Buy. Um, it would be more stable, I'm sure, if you had a heavier duty tripod, but this is fine. I took one of my uh, large drawing boards and I attached these brackets. I don't remember what these are called. Um, they are for using with tripods, but I don't, I'll put the name like right here and the link. I got them on Amazon. And then these 
bars which go with it. You have to buy them separately. So I attached two to the back of the clipboard for stability. The person I originally saw do this, which might have been James Gurney, but I don't remember, used only one. I put two. You see I did put some um, pieces of wood back here um, to um, just give it a little bit extra strength and thickness. And then this one that's in the middle has the um, quick release mount for the tripod attached to it. And you just put this on here like that. And then art journal, one end under the clipboard part, one end under the rubber band, There are screw heads on the front side of the clipboard, but I always use a journal, so the screw heads aren't gonna bother me at all because they're under the cover. Okay, and then my pen holder pouch. Watercolor box and the color chart that goes with the watercolor box. I'll just clip it right there or something. I do have an extra clip. I might put it up here. Um, this has my brushes and stuff in it, but it also has these in it. Okay, so I'm going to take this put it up here. There we go. Then I'm going to take, if I was really outside painting, I would put all my leftovers in my bag. I would use the S hook into the bottom of the <coughs> tripod and hang the bag from the hook. You know, I'd probably clip it just for security. And then, yeah, I like that. And it's, decently stable and that's enough for me to sketch and paint on and way less expensive than a proper plain air easel because they are really pricey. Anyway, what do you think? I'll give you a close up look.
morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, uh, December 17th, and it is, what time is it? 10.41 a.m. Um, we are going to be having Christmas dinner, Christmas celebrations and dinner here with all of the kids before they go off to their respective in-laws and other houses. My dad's also coming down, yay. Um, so I think we're ready for that. I almost forgot to water the plants, which I remembered as I was turning on the camera and I should probably put some makeup on or something and do something with this. Okay, you guys, my hair's a disaster. My makeup's a little bit smeared. I'm totally stuffed. And I think every single dish in the house is dirty, but we had a great Christmas with the family. All the kids were here. Um, we exchanged gifts. We ate way too much probably. I sent everybody home with leftovers. And um, yeah, it was really good. <sighs> now we just need to clean up the mess, but we can do that. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, about 10.30 a.m. on Sunday, December 18th. And we need to go to the hardware store to check up on Bob's flooring for his office, but the kid's mailbox got run into, and so we need to go help with the mailbox. So they're gonna meet us at the hardware store, and it sounds like they need a new post and new mailbox and all of that stuff. So we're gonna try to help them with that today. Yeah. And it's of course raining, and so yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. <laughs> anyway, get one of those big mailboxes that has like a bunch of slots in it. Good morning, only it's not morning. <laughs> it is 2.22 p.m. Monday, December 19th. Um, we've been doing chores all morning and cleaning up from the Christmas celebration with the kids on Saturday, putting stuff away. I got mood boards for the next like four months or six months. I don't know how many we all got done today, two, four, I think six months between myself, Bea and Mike. So those are all done and shared. Um, I got two more presents for Bob wrapped that actually came in, more are coming. He has to, where's my chair? <laughs> he has to get, uh, his wrapped for me and on that note he is out trying to find me some stocking stuffers which he hasn't done yet so um yeah it's so funny I have two little gifts I wrapped for him quite a while ago and they've been under the tree I don't remember what's in them <laughs> good morning everybody it is Tuesday morning December 20th yes wow okay so we are starting off the morning after having coffee and breakfast with a walk. Mr. Bob is off of work for two weeks, so it's a little bit damp, damp and drizzly, but that's okay. We're gonna go get some steps in before we do anything else today. What else are we doing today? I have no idea, but we'll find out. I'll be back. Guys, just dropped off a bunch of Amazon returns at the UPS store, things that they either keep sending me that are wrong or um, party decorations that didn't come in time for the Christmas celebration with the kids. So I don't need to hang on to them until next year. They need to go back. Anyway, it is raining. Bouncy rain. It's bouncing off the hood of the car. That's interesting. Anyway, um, it's 46 degrees outside, so it's not super cold, but it feels a lot colder than that, which is weird. Supposed to have some sort of Arctic storm front thing coming in. I don't know what the repercussions of that will be. I guess we'll find out. City of Tiger not only has Christmas tree downtown, we also have our menorah, which got lit this last weekend. Very cool. And I said, whoop, focus. There we go. Focus. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Whatever you celebrate, have a happy one. Alright, we're gonna go now. 
I spent way too much money on watercolor books. But we'll talk about that okay, in the car. So when we were at Goodwill, there was evidently somebody who I'd like to think just cleared out his art library and his art, art room, but I have a feeling he probably passed away and his kids donated all of his stuff that they didn't want to keep because there were stretcher bars and paint palettes and a whole library of watercolor books. And I bought six of them, I think, five or six. I don't know, I yeah. lost track, five or six. Um, probably too many books. I have enough watercolor reading material now for the next year, probably. Um, like five bucks a, uh, a, bo uh, a, a book. book. Yeah, I did. Bob made a, made a side comment slash joke that, you know, he was just glad I didn't buy the entire library because, you know, it's watercolor books and it's somebody's collection and, oh, they should be loved and I should take them all home, but no, I shouldn't. First of all, I've read, I had already read a lot of them, but there were a few that were subjects that I think I could um, be interested in and or that could help me. So... I bought those. I'll share the titles with y'all later, but anyway, uh, Bob found a couple of things. Also, now we're going to head home and have dinner. Guys, here's our little Goodwill haul. So Mr. Bob found some brand new silver package thermals and some thermal socks. He is freezing cold all the time, so those were much needed. They were a great price. I found this box for $3.99, this wooden box. Um, it happens to open flat. Right now I'm into making sort of plain air kits and travel watercolor kits. This might make a cute one to figure out exactly what I'm going to do with it, but the fact that it opens flat and it's wood is a good starting point, just FYI. These are the books I found. First Impressions, Sketching Nature in Watercolor. Um, the watercolorist, oops, sorry, the watercolor guide to painting trees, the watercolor handbook, fill your watercolors with light and color, and, oh, not and, there's one more, one, two, three, I did get six, the watercolor painter's problem book, and painting with light. I could have bought so many more, but these were the ones that spoke to me. So anyway. Hey guys, I would say good morning, but it's 2.22 p.m. Oh no. It is Thursday, December 22nd. Despite the temperature, the birds are out eating. Mr. Bob left them some food and or they're looking for someplace warm, I think. It is all of 23 degrees outside, and it's not going to get much warmer than that today. We have that chance of snow this afternoon and tonight, so we'll see what happens. Mr. Bob's upstairs wrapping Christmas presents. I have been um, working on my DIY Prashad box, and what I can say is, other than buying a couple pieces of hardware, I am really glad that I save little scraps of wood and bits of wood because I keep finding parts that I want to improve, alter, strengthen, thinking I need to go buy wood. I don't need to go buy wood. I just look at my drawers and my small bits bank. I got, I got what I need. I might need wood screws, but there is a lot of birds outside. Anyway. like we've got the whole flock here. Anyway, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. So it is Friday morning, December 23rd. Um, it's about 10 a.m. I don't know exactly what time it is. I woke up to this. Yeah, I know. My eyes are dry and like scratchy. Uh, we also woke up to this, what you can see behind us. I know, right? So we've strapped on our cleats and we're going to go walking. I've got to get the mail. Um, 
Yeah, we're not driving anywhere today. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> it is Saturday morning, December 24th, Christmas Eve. I kept hearing that noise. I was like, what is that? Mr. Bob is out there scraping the snow off of the driveway. It is supposed to get warm enough today to melt, but I guess he can't wait. Uh, anyway, moving the shoes out of the sink because they were wet. These are our winter shoes with their cleats. And um, yeah, I need to uh, water the house plants, working on laundry, you know, normal non fun stuff that we have to do on the daily. Hey guys, it's just after 5.30 in the evening on Saturday, Christmas Eve, December 24th. We're actually gonna go do the old people thing and go get dinner out, because it's just the two of us. It's finally not icy, it's slushy and wet, and still like kind of looking like that, but it's not icy. Um, we haven't been able to leave the house in two days because the roads were way too icy and slippery. Now it's just slushy and wet and, wet and a mess. But we're gonna go do the old people thing and go get some food out. <laughs> Try a new restaurant, actually. Tomorrow we're trying a new recipe, cause you know, anyway. That's how we roll. That's how we roll, yep. Merry Christmas, everybody. It is Sunday morning, December 25th. Just after 11 o'clock, we are going to go for a walk because we need the exercise and we plan on doing a lot of eating today. Eating, drinking. Yeah, those things. Well, so, me, not you, me. Uh, yeah, I don't drink, but yeah. So um, we're going to go get some steps first because, yeah. And as you can see behind me, there's still a little bit of ice around. Uh, most of it's melted, but... Plus, most of it is slush. Yeah, so... That means it's slippery though, so I'm gonna be careful. But yeah, we're gonna go see what we can see. Enjoy the crisp morning air. It has been a really great start so far to Christmas day. And uh, yeah, let's go see what we can see. I'll be back. Hey guys, it is 11.06 on December 26th. Oh uh, yeah, day yeah. after Day Christmas. after Christmas. And we woke up to some messages from some of the kids well, all the kids, uh, Becca and Paulius, our birth daughter, they were in California visiting his family. They're on their way back today. Jenny and Brian, adopted daughter and her husband are sick. <laughs> so we're making a grocery store run and bringing them some medication, some COVID tests. We don't know what it is that they have. Could be the coughing cold flu thing that we all had, but we'll see. And then we need to run a few errands, so. Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. It is 11.45 a.m. Tuesday, December 27th. And got laundry going, as you can hear. I rearranged some things in the game room uh, slash library here. I think we have a lot of puzzles. Yeah, anyway. Okay, you guys, we just picked up from the um, P.O. box. I'm a little bit more than a little bit startled. Um, we got a huge box from Uhuhu, the marker people, and they contacted me um, before Christmas and said they wanted to send me some things to try on my channel. I said, sure, I can do that. Um, I had a good experience with the last marker people and I went to their channel and gave them some recommendations on what some things of theirs I'd like to play with. Did they send me that or something else? I have no idea. So I guess when we get home, we're doing an unboxing because yeah, it's a big box, you guys. All right, we've got errands to run, so we'll be back. Hey okay, guys, I'm gonna prop you up right there. So this is the ginormous box from Ohuhu, Ohuhu that we got. Um, they contacted me a while ago and wanted to know if they could send me some stuff. And I said, sure. They said if I didn't, you know, give them some preferences from their website that they would just send me some alcohol markers. And I said, well, I don't really use alcohol markers too much, but um, these are the other things from your site that I'd be interested in trying. I expected them to pick one, 
I, I didn't expect a box this big. I don't know what's in here. Let's see. Whatever is in here, you can look forward to some videos on my channel playing with said items. They are pretty good company, uh, making markers and things. Wow. Um, art markers, skin tones. Wow. I think they sent me their entire collection of markers. Art markers, basic tones. You guys, art markers, illustration tones. You didn't think that was it, did you? Art markers, landscape tones. Holy crud. Yes, Bob is just off camera. He's avoiding the phone right now. Holy, holy moly. So much cardboard. And I think these came from China. I don't know. Yep, that's exactly what they did. Wow. And these are double ended. Oh my goodness. In a fancy case. I think this is a blender pen. I mean, all right, let's get them all open and see what they look like. Okay, so Mr. Bob's gonna play cameraman, but um, this is a lot of markers, you guys. Point it down just a little. There we go. So each one came with a um, blending pen. Yeah, they are alcohol markers. So if you're not sure, sniff it. It just smells like rubbing alcohol. Um, so each set came with its own blending pen with a swatch sheet, an instruction book. And I think my favorite thing isn't the pen. It came with this which is very foldable or rollable. I can see me using this a lot. So if you art journal or draw on thin paper and you um, are like me and you stick something in there so that your pens don't bleed through because the paper bleeds through, um, that's what this is for. It's for putting in the, I love that. Usually I use a piece of hard plastic, that's cool. I have four of them now. So look for some videos coming up where we swatch all the different sets and we, I guess I'm going to start using alcohol markers because now I've got all these. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'll start playing as soon as possible. We'll be back. Hey, guys. It is 427 p.m. on Wednesday, December 28th. I haven't vlogged until just now because it's been a wild, crazy day. We have a little bit of a issue with a window that was put in last year a little bit of a water leak uh-oh anyway contractor's aware of it uh, he came by very early this morning and he's going to make some phone calls it looks like a defect in the window actually so i'm going to see what we can do to get that taken care of in the meantime we're doing what we can to mitigate any more water leaking through the window thankfully we have tile floors so yeah. Anyway, then our friend and housekeeper Letty came by today. She's got the house all clean and spick and span. It'll probably only take us five minutes to mess it up, but you know, it's all clean. I got some more paintings done for my future grandson's bedroom. Hopefully the daughter and son-in-law like them, but those are ready to go. I had a nice long conversation with my friend Leslie McGrath. She's finally feeling better. She hasn't been feeling good. So yay, that was great. And I got some recipe stuff reorganized in the kitchen because my old recipe binder was literally falling apart. Um, so that's done too. Now we're gonna go get some steps in and then 
probably at some point today we should take a shower. I know that's TMI, but yeah. Anyway. All right. Let's go get some steps in. It looks like it's going to pour rainy again. So we're going to do it while we can and I'll Morning, be back. everybody. So it's 10.20 a.m. Thursday, December 29th. And it's already been interesting. So the internet was out for a bit. It seems to be back on again, but there's some issue there. Um, I don't know if I said or not, but we have a manufacturer issue with our new sliding glass door and transom window, which went in last year. There's a leak up here between the window and the door, and it's not an install issue, it's a manufacturer issue. So the contractor was by yesterday, he'll be in contact with Milgard. In the meantime, we have our awning out, just enough to keep it dry, it seems to be working. And it'll stay there unless the winds get really high. It's on a sensor, so it'll roll itself up if we get high winds, which means we'll have to get out there with some tape and plastic or something. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go run some errands, which is why I've got my coat on. Uh, Bob, I think, is gonna stay here and keep working on his office. And yes, that squeak is my orthotics. Um, Anyway, otherwise I think it's going to be a little bit of a quieter day than yesterday, which I can't say I'm not looking forward to, but anyway. All right, let's go get it's it. It's about 1.30 on Friday, December 30th. Tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Um, and to that end, I've been gathering 2022 paperwork so I can close the art, business, and YouTube channel out for the year uh, after New Year's next week. And clearing out most physical merchandise from the Etsy shop and donating it to a local art therapist um, because that's just not where I'm headed for the next year. I don't believe it's not worth my time or effort. It's not paying off the way I would like it to. And so I'm done. Um, I'm gonna focus more on art phonies and Patreon and creating custom artwork for people, of which I do still have some for sale, so hit me up. Anyway, um, Bob's been painting his accent wall in his office and moving more things around, getting ready to, for the flooring, which is a week from today. Um, yeah, it's just been busy. Um, tomorrow morning, I've got to donate all the art supplies I took inventory of this morning and get that done. And... I don't think we're doing anything else for the day. It is New Year's Eve, but all the kids have gone their separate ways and are spending it with their partners, which is cool. Of course, one set of kids is doing that because they're both sick, but you know, <laughs> um, oh well. Good morning, everybody. It is 10.21 a.m. Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. We are out and about letting go of the old and hopefully bringing in the new. Anyway, we donated some art supplies to a local art therapist, gave a few things to the little ones next door, just donated a few things to the local thrift shop. We have to stop at the hardware store. It is kind of funny, I just was thinking to myself, Bob was off for two weeks and we've spent the entire two weeks running errands. <laughs> Doing chores. I don't know what that says. There's always something to do. Yeah, anyway.
Okay, you guys, I did a little rearranging. Are you ready for this? Not too much. I did change the corner. I have the cart there, which is great because I can pull it out when I'm painting. And look at this. I have a reading nook. I love it. Hey guys, fun fact, it's January 1st, 2023. Oops. Anyway, it's been a great year in some respects. It's been a wild ride and adventure, but it's been a good one. We're still here, still here standing and creating, so it's all good. Anyway, I hope you've had a good New Year's Eve. I have a lot of editing to do now, but that's for next week's vlog. Don't forget to check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content on my channel, get free downloads and stuff from me, and have regular conversations with me on the daily by becoming a patron over on Patreon. That's the husband trying to sneak around you all. Anyway, leave any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you.